All right, that's the old oil. We got it drained out of here last night. Right here. I should, before I dispose of this oil, hygienically, if that's all it is, you know, oil, um, safely, whatever. Um, before I dispose of it, I should just see how much I had so I know what I'm trying to fill. What level I'm trying to fill. So. So that's to the top of that, whatever that is. And uh, looks like we've still got, still got a little bit to bleed there. So if we get down to there, if we get that down to there, or thereabouts, somewhere there, at least. Well, actually, we probably want that right down out of there, actually, uh, to be able to get to the same level of what we just took out of there. What we took out was one litre pretty well of dirty oil. And we put one litre back in, but the level before was below this, was you know, below the bottom of this. So, and then we've got to be able to put 1.1 in. I say 1.1 is the capacity, so another 100 mils, which is something like about that. It needs to get down to the level of where is the level? Where's the level mark? Down here, it's down here. So we're Want it to be just in the bottom with enough expansion capacity when it gets hot to get up there. Let's give it a let's give it a wind up, eh? See if we can get a bit more. Maybe we'll just try. Just jiggle it around a little bit. See if we can get some bubbles out of it. Oh, there's some. There's some. Oh yeah, there, there's some. So you wouldn't be able to do this in the in the uh, in the mower, would you? Well, there's some, there's some bubbles. bubbles come out as you go all around. Seems to be the way to do it. Condensation dripping off the roof. It's all foggy out this morning. Uh, it's humidity. Out work, dew point, and all that stuff, kids. You know, you learn about your dew point in school, otherwise, you'll never be able to fly. Because you have to learn about dew point and all that there, trying to understand that. And if you want to be a photocopier technician, well, you're going to have to try and un uh, explain to people. How damn paper works. And that's a, that's a nightmare. No one believes you. They think you're just blaming something. I've got a couple of bubbles, I've got a couple of bubbles there. Oh, there's a couple more bubbles. Seven out here, bit of empty, bit of empty, bit of empty, 47 out here, bit of empty. Sounds like we've got a tree about to go. Got a lot. Well, it's just you. That's just you. You're just breaking stuff. All right. It's your place. This is Maggie's farm. Or oh, she tidied up around here. Mm. 
Okay, we'll get to that. We're nearly there. We're nearly there. Yeah, a couple more weeks, we'll be all fully tidied, won't we? We've made progress. Remember when the shed was all just you couldn't walk in here? That's almost back to that, huh? Hmm. I mean, if you're in a hurry, this would be frustrating. I find it quite fascinating. I just want to get the exact amount of oil in there so there's no no air pockets so there's no reason for it to cavitate we might find out why cavitation is so bad for hydraulic motors and pumps it's quite destructive cavitation give me little bubbles every now and then little bubbles like that sometimes it's a big bubble The humming of a bee or a wasp out there somewhere. Maybe even not that far away. Oh. Stumbled across a video online last night. How can you come? Little, little, uh, little small Japanese manufacturer that specialises in stuff, and they, uh, uh, they get a couple of mottos about. They want people to like them. Well, I think they want people to like their gear. And, you know, fair enough. Fair enough, you know. Because that is a cool unit. I love it. I love it. So, um... I do want to be able to go through at full speed, though. And it seems to be able to. The book says you're supposed to go in low range, and, you know, like, you're not supposed to... You're not supposed to use a front-end loader. Digging in anything but low range it's not good for the hydrostat you know like yeah it's not good for it might be able to do it but it's not good for it now i'll have to look up the books and try and understand this but there's a in the in the manual for this there's a thing called return to neutral you know and i guess that means a spring and adjustment maybe so that it returns to neutral and i did notice that on this machine now, there might be other springs in, in the mechanisms here that, that that help to do that but you could take your foot off the pedal and it was still stuck trying to creep just backwards or forwards a little bit so just looking at this here that doesn't really want to return it sort of does there's a bit of a spring action there but but it's not going all the way you know so I wonder what I uh, wonder what the go is there we might have to try and understand how that's supposed to work That's how it works, eh? Infinitely variable. So you can you can just adjust it how fast you want to go by how much foot, foot pressure you put on there. Oh, a couple of bubbles there, a couple of bubbles. Not a bad angle to put it on. I might do. I'll leave it on that angle today. Go to work. As long as we're not in a hurry. I would feel that it's bled once that is at least into here. So we're not far away. No, no, that can't be right. I need to get 1.1 into there. So I'm going to need another 100 mils. How about I put the 100 mils in? Clean out the dirty oil that was in here. 100 mils. Oh. Possibly even a fraction over. So 
it's, it's almost done there. It's just oh, there's a couple of bubbles coming out as well. So if we can get this amount here and there. To the right level, you'd consider that to be bled. That's how close we are. That is how close we are. There's bubbles coming up there. So that almost doesn't even have to go down. So we're going to want a little bead of silicon around here. We'll have to clean this this face up. There's a bit of silicon on there. Uh, so I wonder if that's just looked like grey RTV. So I might get some good RTV today. And uh, I think I'll do another oil change on this first. I'll, see it, I'll drain this out once we've uh, do back and forth with this a little bit. And uh, we'll drain it again. We'll see what colour the oil is. And um, then we might put the magic stuff in there. Put that 1.1 litres of, of this stuff in. At least we'll be able to have the transmission back in for the weekend and give it, you know, give it a test. Having been flushed, we'll learn a little bit about it, work out what this return to a neutral thing is, what, what that's all about. We'll work out what the bypass is, where it's supposed to be. Um, Just a bit of. Yeah, that's dry, really. That's dry. Yeah, could be the slightest bit of seeping there, but. Um, I was worried about whether the gasket might be leaking somewhere and sucking in the air or something like that. Anything like that can be um, quite problematic for, for these things. Yep, let's go and find out some information. All right, morning, Jim Bob. I don't know if they ever said that on that show. Did they? Did they? I'll have to find out if they did. Oh, look at us, we're getting down there. Oh, we're down to the level. We're down to the level. We're bled, we're fully bled now. And um, yes, we are on our max line that's 1.1 1.1 it comes to there and i guess if that happens it's got no more air in it let's see if it goes down over the day let's see if i've me mixed up the measurements i was pretty fussy about getting that exactly right and there was you know the slightest bit of residual left in there but that's i sort of allowed for that all right talk to you later